Hi friends, I am starting cilantro in Aero Garden Harvest. I attempted growing cilantro a few times in the past and had both success and failures. With all that experience, I found one most reliable and effective way to grow tasty cilantro. That reliable and effective method is sprouting the seeds first. In this method, I am taking few seeds onto a paper towel. Each cilantro seed is basically two seeds encased with a hard husk. If we gently crack them, we can separate the seeds. Cracking and separating the seeds will increase the germination rate as well as the germination will be fast. It is little time taking but not at all difficult. Even my three year old kid was able to separate few seeds. Take few extra seeds as backup in case some seeds fail to germinate. I was able to crack and separate almost all the seeds. Now I am adding some water to the paper towel and make it wet thoroughly. Spread out the seeds at least half an inch apart from each other. In case any of the seeds catch mold, we can prevent spreading the mold to other seeds. Now fold the paper towel and put it into a Ziploc bag. Close the Ziploc leaving a little bit of opening on one end for some airflow. Now I will leave this in a dark place at room temperature and check it every 2-3 to three days. It's been 2 days, let's see if any of the seeds germinated. None of the seeds germinated. I am putting it back and I will check it again tomorrow. It's day 3, I see lot of seeds sprouted. This is really great progress but these sprouts are not ready for aero garden yet. I will wait another day or two. It's day 5, let's take a look at the seeds now. Wow, sprouting is going really well. Lot of seeds developed long roots that are about half an inch. Other seeds also germinated well but they haven't developed long roots yet. Every seed I placed here is germinated. This is the perfect time to place these sprouts into aero garden. I soaked the sponges already. It's easier to handle sprouted seeds with wet sponges than dry sponges. I am adding 3 seeds into each pod. If needed, break the sponge and open it wide so that we can easily place the sprouts. I made 5 pots with well germinated seeds. I am keeping rest of the seeds back in the Ziploc bag. I will repeat the same process once I see more seeds developed long roots. My aero garden is ready now. I am adding water. I am not adding any nutrition at this point. I will wait for the seedlings to show up before I add nutrition. It's been 3 days since I transplanted sprouted seeds. They are coming up very nice and developing first leaves. Some seedlings are not able to push the roots down. I am going to help them. I am opening the sponge and pushing the seedlings down. Now all the seedlings are set very well in the pods. One more lesson learned. Next time I will open the sponge and place the sprouts deep into the sponge. Let's check the remaining seeds. I got lot of seeds germinated. I will place 5 sprouted seeds in the last pod. This time I am opening the sponge very well and place the sprouts little deep into the sponge. Now the pod is ready. I will place it in the aero garden now. Here is another trick for tasty cilantro. I have grown cilantro with aero garden nutrition in the past. Cilantro grown well but it was flavorless and pretty tasteless. I like the flavor and taste of the cilantro grown with maxi grow. I don't blame aero garden nutrients. I use aero garden nutrients for many of my other crops. But for cilantro, I found that maxi grow working much better. 
I have been using MaxiGrow for most of my herbs. I have a separate video on MaxiGrow with side by side comparison. You can find the link in the description below if you are interested. Now let me show you how exactly I use MaxiGrow. MaxiGrow is dry nutrients. For harvest model, I use 1 teaspoon of these nutrients. Take the nutrients to any transparent bottle. Add some water. Shake it well until all the solids are completely dissolved. It needs couple of shakes. Nutrients will be dissolved within 5 minutes. You can keep checking for the solids and shake them. Or just leave it aside for 5 minutes and shake them at the end. It's been sitting here for 5 minutes. All the solids are dissolved now. Now I am adding it to the Aero Garden. Shake it one last time and pour it into the Aero Garden bowl. That's it. All the hard work is done. Now it's time to watch them growing and enjoy harvesting as they grow. It's been 6 days since I transplanted. Seedlings are coming up very nice. I have 3 plants in each of the first 5 pods. Last pod has 4 seedlings so far and I am hopeful for the 5th seedling. Here is one more tip and this is about preventing algae. I added some tape on each pod covering the holes as much as possible. This will block the light going onto the sponges. If we look at this pod, we can see the hole is pretty big and the light is going straight onto the sponge. Since the sponge is wet with nutrition water, algae can grow on the sponge. Covering this hole helps prevent algae. Day 7, I see real leaves coming on many plants. It's all going very well so far. Day 8, all the plants from first batch are developing nice real leaves. That's a significant growth day by day. Day 10, plants are producing more leaves. Second batch of plants also producing real leaves now. Day 13, wow, look at this growth in just 13 days. Leaves are getting bigger and the plants are producing more leaves. I can start harvesting now if I want to. Day 14, plants are looking like nice bunches. Day 16, leaves are getting very big. Plants are continuously producing new leaves. In this pod, I have 5 plants and all of them are doing great. It's time to start harvesting the bigger leaves. Many leaves have grown big enough. If I don't harvest these leaves, they will start drying up. So, same as any other herb, harvest the cilantro leaves as they have grown big enough. Let me pick one leaf and taste it. And here it is, pretty big. The taste is really good. It's very flavorful and the taste is authentic. I should have added nutrition on day 14 but I forgot. But that's totally fine. It's just 2 days late. I'm adding the nutrition now. It's the same process. I already added 1 teaspoon of maxi grow dry nutrients into this bottle. Now I'm adding water. Close the lid and shake it until solids are dissolved. All the solids are dissolved now. Shaking one last time and pouring into the bowl. Day 17, plants are continuously producing new leaves while the existing leaves are getting bigger. Day 23, cilantro is growing nice and tall. I started harvesting couple of leaves every day. I started harvesting from this side, that's why it's not looking bushy on this side. But I see a lot of new growth coming. 
Day 27. Cilantro is doing excellent. Plants are about 8 inches tall. I see a few leaves getting brown and not growing anymore. I have seen this issue many times in the past with cilantro. I can just ignore them. There are only a few leaves having this issue. Lot of new leaves are coming healthy. Day 33. It is all going very well. I am harvesting about 10 leaves every day. Today I am harvesting a lot of cilantro as we have some special cooking going on. Here is all the cilantro I just harvested. It is about two handfuls. Now I can check the plants thoroughly. I still see some leaves are dying randomly while the new growth is coming very healthy. Day 36, cilantro is coming back really fast. I harvested a lot on this side just three days ago and it started looking bushy again now. Day 40, I am again harvesting heavily today. Here it is. Day 45, lots of continuous new growth. Day 52, plants are bushy again. Day 64, I have lots of cilantro. I am harvesting every single day. New growth is coming double the speed. I have some special cooking today so I am harvesting little more. It's feeding time. I already prepared maxi grow solution. Now I am adding this to the bowl. Day 80, stems are getting super strong. New growth is coming at the top instead of coming from the base. Maybe it is coming to an end. It is heavy harvesting again today. Day 100, plants are still doing excellent. I see two plants died but the rest are doing well and getting lot of new growth. Day 120, cilantro is still managing to survive but I don't see lot of new growth. I can push these plants for few more days but I prefer to start over fresh. So I am ending this garden now. These plants already did their best. Here is the final harvest of my cilantro. Overall, I really enjoyed growing cilantro and extremely satisfied with the produce. I was able to harvest the cilantro every single day for last 100 days. This has been a very productive garden. That will be all. Thanks for watching. Happy Aero Gardening.